So this video is still about Kristen Smart, but I read this guy's entire comment he left me, right? <coughs> it's like, oh, well, you're on drugs. Well, he wasn't saying that. He was basically saying, oh, it would sound like you're on drugs unless you can prove where the body is. No, I can't prove where the body is because I never seen the body get actually moved. Okay, I was told where the body was and I was also told another location where then they started to dig up 25 years ago. Now, as far as the first location where her body was, that location became an obsolete location when freaking... As far as I understand it, okay, a certain, there was, oh man, wow, wow, this, this is fucked up, and you want to know something, and, and as I'm thinking of all of this shit, and I'm fucking pissed off, like, I could care less, do you, you you're not, maybe that part wasn't clear, I could care less about the $75,000 reward, there is a damn good chance that this right here, okay, is a $2 million diamond that I just found walking up the fucking road. So I could care less about the freaking $75,000 reward. What I do am fucking pissed off is my bank account. You see, my bank account was set up right, right as before, during the period of, but before I knew about anything with this. My information came a year after she was gone already, okay? A year after she was already gone. That's when my information on where her body was... Whew, I, I'm gonna freaking... Whew. When I gave... Let, let's see if this... If this complies in in anyone's head watching this when i gave the information that paul tells me directly to my face right so paul rubin tells me uh rubin flores tells me that which i didn't even know his name it doesn't fucking what did i know his name fucking it doesn't matter i get i put it all in the fucking paul flores tells me directly to my face that he murdered this girl, right? Two hours later, I'm bumping into people who are asking me about this girl and that she's gone and that after a year of being gone, okay? All this goes in the freaking report. When this goes down in the report... I get told that I have to sign, I have to sign a witness protection form. And that's when, when I was discussing this with my friend just two days ago, when I brought that up, she goes, you know something, Anthony? She goes, that would explain why your bank accounts that you're saying that you have do not show up when they search for the bank accounts that you have with the millions of dollars in it. That is why he told it to my face. I guarantee it. That's why Paul Flores told me that he killed Kristen Smart. Wow. Wow. Because it had nothing to do with Kristen Smart. It had something to do with freaking getting me to sign those freaking forms. Those witness statements. So that they could put me in witness protection. Which <laughs> isn't witness protection. And second off, okay, right? Then they set me up with a police issued Suffolk County Glock 9. Which isn't in my records. But everybody knows about. So that this way, my testimony is not in the depositions no more. But they still have, at that point, the witness protection form. Which therefore validates, still, 
my bank accounts being masked. Does that make sense? Because I'm starting to get pissed. Wow. 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 And as far as you go, <coughs> telling me to <coughs> contact the... Wow. Wow. Now you understand what I'm saying, right? Now, now you, do you not get it yet? Would you like to see the numerous times? Oh, my God. Why don't you reference the video when I called the FBI? That's the first time. The second time was for the human foot bone on my front porch. Okay? Yo. No police reports written. Yo. Wow. I bought a car from a car dealership. My friend was with me. When I bought the car from the car dealership, we pulled out the dealership. The car, 15 minutes later, had no brakes. There was a 9-foot flame coming off the front tire, heading right back to the gas tank of the car. And we were heading towards a red light with a woman in a baby carriage on the curb coming up the side of the car. As, as we were coming into with no brakes. No brakes. Wow, man. I, I avoided every single thing that day by centimeters. The car to the left, the baby carriage, three feet. Three feet. That's it. Three feet. I mean, within inches. Like, because the way the road was designed, the, the, the curb was so close to the freaking, to the kid anyway. If that car would have, if I would have hit the car ahead of me, there, there's a damn good chance that car would have bounced right on top of that freaking baby carriage. No shit. Missed everything by, by centimeters, man. Pull the car to a stop. Call the police. Nobody shows up. Nobody shows up. That's what this fucking whole thing's been about. It's, it's never been about Kristen Smart. It wasn't about Kristen Smart. It was about the bank account that was set up for me because I uncovered a freaking serial killer's burial ground when I was 12 Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. And it wasn't just one serial killer's burial ground. Then, if that wasn't enough, I uncovered another fucking massive fucking bunch of bullshit. And it's like, holy fucking crap, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. No, this this is this is overkill. This is fucking over. Wow, man. Wow, man. It was never about this, this, this person. That's what I'm saying. It's like such a little piece inside of a bigger thing. And what's better than fucking killing somebody for money, right? Because, because if, if you're not fucking stealing somebody's money, what's the fucking point of fucking killing somebody, right? So what they, wow, man. Wow. Wow. So they tell me the detail. This motherfucker tells me the motherfucking details on how he killed Kristen Smart. Well, he didn't, I don't remember the detail. I just know that he fucking told me that he killed, the detail of him killing Kristen Smart. Holy shit. Where her body was. The first location. Wow, man. Wow, man. In order for me to sign the witness statement, which then, in turn, I was then freaking forced, basically forced. I was told, oh, no, you have to sign this. You have to sign this. This is a witness protection form. Which then, therefore shielded 
concealed my bank accounts. Wow. That I wasn't even, I, at that point, I wasn't even allowed to touch for another freaking, like, 15 years. 10, 15 years, I wasn't even allowed to touch those fucking bank accounts. Holy shit. <laughs> while they're trying to rob my identity, while they're trying to do this, while they're trying to do that, I get, wow, man, and all the shit that I've been talking about, and then it leads right up to here, where it's like, a few weeks ago, all of a sudden, these videos start to beam into my phone, and I'm like, wait a minute, I know, I know that fucking place. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on a second, what the fuck? I'm like, this shit, this shit... I know exactly. I know this this whole fucking scenario. This whole fucking scenario. I remember the fucking parts of. The, I'm like, holy shit! I've been on that block this many times. I'm like, holy shit! I didn't even fucking know. Completely forgot. <sighs> holy shit, man! Holy shit, man! Wow, man! Wow, man! Wow, man! Wow, man! Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. And all that crosswording stuff where you're like, oh, well, if you've got the body and you've got this gun, it's like, motherfucker. Yo, yo, I, 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 personally, I want to fucking kill you now. Now, now, maybe you should go tell the police that I'm coming to fucking kill you because of the comment you left me. Say that I'm on meds. Say whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Show them these videos. Does it matter? Show the U.S. military these videos. I don't give a fuck if you call the FBI, CIA, or DOJ with these motherfucking videos. Because it all makes fucking perfect motherfucking sense. Kristen Smart was killed in order to get their fucking hands on my goddamn millions of fucking dollar bank account. Motherfucker.